Good morning, Hensley. Hensley, you want to tell everybody how long you slept? What time did you get up? Hensley slept till almost 10 o'clock. 13 hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the reason we can't ever get out of our sight. I guess we should start putting her to bed at like 6 p.m. or something, but... Why'd you sleep so long? You may get this camera out of your face. Like that. So the plan today is to head from our current campground to Hermit Open Space, which is like 10 minutes outside of Estes, which is, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes outside of Rocky Mountain National Park. So eventually our goal is to get into Rocky Mountain National Park, but this is the best we can do for now. Still trying to get a couple things fixed before we head out. I took apart the washer dryer last time. And we used this thing like crazy, trying to see if I could get it to act up. And um, it's working fine. So I can't even, you know, figure out what's going on with it without it messing up. The only thing it's doing, it'll, um, I mentioned this last time, all these lights will start flashing. And if we unplug it and plug it back in with this drawer halfway out, when we plug it back in, everything works. And I mean, it, the, and, and I mean that fixes it every time. So this is one of the minor annoyances of RV living. You'll get frost build up in your freezer and then you've got to defrost it every once in a while. It's not that big of a deal. It takes about 15 minutes, but just kind of annoying. It seems like it happens more in the summer. Like in the winter, we can go like a whole six months without having to do it. In the summer, it's more like every three months we have to do it. <laughs> That's an advantage as well. If you start reading about uh, a lot of the RVs now are coming to residential fridges, and it's not just the size you're getting, they a lot of those come with a defrost setting too, and this just does not have that. We bought these reflector things. They work okay. They don't cover the entire windshield like we like, but I don't know. It was cheaper just to buy one. But they do fold up really small. So that comes in pretty handy. They're like uh, 20, 30 bucks on Amazon, something like that. That's just when it's hot. There's probably like two or three months of the year we use something like this. The rest of the time, it's not hot enough to really matter. Our uh, pleated shades do enough as far as blocking the sun coming in. It says to fold. Place left thumb here and fold shade almost in half like a taco. Just before wrists meet, twist wrist toward each other. To me, that's what it's like that. Twist wrist toward each other. Show me how you dance. Yeah. So we're all packed up, ready to leave. We're just waiting on the washer to finish at least washing my clothes. Um, my clothes got pushed to the very end right before we left. So <laughs> I don't think they're even gonna get dried. Hensley, this is all your fault. Really? Yep, you hadn't woke up at 10 o'clock. I think I hear the uh, hear the washer dryer powering down. <laughs> Things like a spacecraft. Come on. Oh, I'm still got one. What's it doing? I thought it took an hour for a load. I don't know. Seems like it's taking a little longer than that, doesn't it? What? Maybe you should drive the RV. The RV. <laughs> Clothes are done. Let's get out of here.
How's the drive? <laughs> it's beautiful. It was like you're driving through the mountains. That was like this canyon. It was awesome. Oh yeah, it was awesome. What'd you think, Hensley? Do you like the mountains? You ready to do this thing, Hensley? Let's get to our side. What do you think, Hensley? What do you think? Is this what you expected? Yeah, it smells like Christmas trees here. <laughs> <laughs> For me, and I know if you're from Colorado, you'll laugh at us, but this is a little more off the beaten path than I thought it would be. Just, <sighs> just from looking at it on the map, it looked like it was just off the highway, and um, I knew it would be a little bit off-road, but... Yeah, we're <laughs> tucked away, for sure. So we opted to... Uh, unhook the car from uh, the RV and Marissa drove separate on the way up here. So if something's like an hour or less, sometimes we just won't hook up because we've got to, you know, hook it up and I've got to move the car seat and everything. And, um, but especially this time, what kind of pushed it over the edge was, that was number two is we were coming into the mountains and I didn't know, you know, what it'd be like as far as the grades and stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was, it was curvy. That was definitely one of the curviest, curvier routes I've taken. <laughs> Cause it's kind of an advantage when you got a motorhome and a car because you can detach the car and that decreases the total weight of the vehicle. And I mean, th this gas didn't, re it really didn't have that much of an issue getting here. I mean, not that there was like crazy inclines or anything, but it did pretty good to be honest. Hensley, don't get our steps dirty. Thank you. It was a first order of business to see if we can find a spot with some Verizon signal. So <laughs> I climbed up these uh, climbed up these rocks. I've barely got enough signal where I can at least uh, at least check my email. And there's this view. Pretty awesome. This is uh it's pretty nice that this is like our spot. What's on your face? Supper. <laughs> so we had a good day. Um, Estes Park is awesome. The entire area is beautiful. Um, the spot where that's beautiful, it's a little bit of a drive to get up here. <laughs> and a little bit pricey. Yeah, we were totally surprised at that. Um, we have no water, no electric, no sewer, and it's 32 bucks a night. But yeah, it was really tough to find something in this area and we just, we took what we could get. Bye camera. Bye camera. <laughs> He's so uh, sweet. <laughs> Hensley did not get a nap today. <laughs> so, it's, it's good. Evil laugh. It's good and bad. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>